Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today. And this is an update on a story that we covered the other day in relation to the murder in Handsworth, Birmingham. It was breaking news at the time. And now we've got some more details emerging to do with the story. In relation to the identity of the victim, he has been named as 15-year-old Kian Lincoln from Birmingham. He died on Linwood Road in Handsworth at 3.30 on the 21st of January. Initially, a 14-year-old child was arrested at his home address also in Birmingham, but he has been released pending further inquiries. Today, two more teenagers were arrested, a 15 and 16 year old, from an address in Warsaw in the early hours of the 24th of Jan. And then another 14 year old boy has been arrested. All three of them have been arrested on suspicion of murder and will be questioned today. A post-mortem examination has revealed that Keon died from a gunshot and stab wounds as he was attacked in the street in broad daylight. Detective Chief Inspector Alistair Arenkus from the Homicide Unit is leading the investigation and in the official statement he said there is no let up in our quest to find out who's responsible for Keon's murder and have made significant arrests. We are gathering a substantial amount of evidence and we will take time to analyse this and go through it to get justice for Keon's family. Initially after the murder, a car was seen leaving the scene and it crashed nearby in Weirder Street. It crashed into a house. We got footage from the scene of that incident and thank you to Snapper SK for his help in relation to that. This is the latest teenager that has lost his lives on the street during lockdown and also related to gang violence because the papers are running with the fact that there was a gang of youths that attacked him and he was shot and stabbed in a brutal fashion. So there's definitely a big problem that we've got on our streets and I've worked with young children around Kian's age and I try to actively always try to encourage young children to do better and to steer away from it. But during this lockdown it's even harder to tell kids about where the right path is due to the fact of the limited options that are available. Recently we covered the murder of Lewis Williams in Mexbra. Lewis was 20 years old and he was shot dead on a street in a little town near Sheffield. Ryan Nisbet from Barnsley would appear at Doncaster Magistrates Court on Monday and the charges followed the arrest of six other men in relation to that case and two teenage boys as well. And they have also been charged with murder, possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life and criminal damage. Luis was 20 and he died on the 11th of January. Mr Williams was gunned down close to a farm food store at around 5pm on Monday. A post-mortem examination said that he died as a result of the wounds to his neck and face. And in another story down in Hull, we covered of Conan Lyons, who was murdered by the River Hall. A 23-year-old male has been arrested and charged with his murder today. So we always keep you updated and follow these stories from the beginning until the end and give you the information as it becomes available because these are important stories. These kids feel like their stories are not being covered the same way as, say, for example, COVID-19 is or other subjects that are in the news at the moment. Street violence and the murders of young children relating to it is probably one of our major issues that we have right now. So that was just a brief update in relation to that story. Rest in peace to all the cases that we've covered this week and I'll definitely keep you updated on anything to do with it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow us online as well and I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.